Hi there, I'm going to talk today about how to adjust your design settings. Say you've gotten a template and the template's beautiful but it doesn't quite fit your brand colors or your brand fonts. So you're going to, sorry you went too fast, click design settings over on your left. This shows you your color palette and your type styles. Um, your color palette is where you're going to change your colors and First off, you're going to want to pay attention to where these colors are used. Um, that way, when you make changes, like say to this pink block, it's going to make that change there. Um, technically, it doesn't matter because you can go in and just adjust the colors yourself, but it will save you some time if you try and do some homework and coordinate where you're adjusting the colors. So say instead of this pink, I want it to be uh, a light blue you would simply drag and select a color or if you already have a color that you know you need to use you can just paste it right here paste the code here and hit OK and that will change the color and you would hit save and you can see the color changed and that'll be throughout the site I'm gonna hit undo and so that's how you change the colors just go through and adjust the ones that you need for the fonts <clears throat> Right here you can see mobile and desktop um, and I've got my fonts loaded. If you want to change the fonts, you're going to click this fonts tab at the top and click right here. This is this will give you the list of all the Google fonts. So if you are using a Google font, it's super easy. You just scroll and find it and click it and it will show a preview. You can select the style, whether it's italic or normal, and hit Add Google Font, and then it will add it to your library. If you need to add a custom font, you will add a WAF file, or W-O-F-F, -F, I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced. Um, some, If you get a font from like Creative Market, sometimes they'll include that. If not, you can create it at Font Squirrel. You would click this link here, go here, and upload the fonts. Um, you need to make sure that you are legally allowed to do so. Um, but once you are, or if you are, um, just hit OK. And when it will give you a kit to download. You'll open that kit, select the file, and come back to... Let's close without saving for now. You're going to add that file in here. Let me see. Basically, you're going to upload that WAF file from your, your downloads file or wherever it's saved, and it will show up in here. Um, I'm not sure. Here's one. This will kind of be what it looks like. So after you've done that, you can exit out, go back to your design settings and fonts, and you'll see it here now. So we saw that a door add here, and I don't actually have that one on this computer, I guess. It's not showing. Um, but you would give it a name and hit add custom font. There it is. Now it's showing. So save and go back to design settings and site style. And here you're going to select that font or any other font and you can adjust the size the line height which is the line, uh, spacing between the lines the letter spacing um, alignment color pretty much everything um, and you'll want to do that for each of your different type styles and then make sure that they're both coordinated between your desktop and your mobile and that's pretty much it. Um, you can obviously have one-offs. Let's see if you go to textile. If it doesn't have a plus sign, that means it's following your um, basically your script exactly. If you change something about it, it's going to have a plus sign. So um, just for your reference. But you can change anything about your, your text boxes as needed. They don't have to be limited to your font styles. Hopefully that helps.